Not only are they a great chest, tricep and shoulder exercise, they're also great for the core. But a lot of people have some issues with push-ups, which Matt is going to explain in the next segment. Yes, the problem with push-ups is progression. Now, you might not be able to do a push-up, and if you can't do a push-up, then just keep your eyes on the screen because you'll see a, a series of progressions starting from the knees, then going to a full elevation, etc., etc., all the way up into weighted push-ups, which is usually the last level. But then some people add an extra level, and this is where I see the problem, the main problem with a feet elevated and weighted push-up is people's backs. People lose track of their spines when they elevate their feet because their head is attached, attached to the rest of their body. So what I usually see is what looks like a feet elevated push-up but is in fact a normal level push-up but with your back like this. I'm going to do a little demonstration first. Okay, so you've mastered the push-up and you've now moved on to the next stage where you're going for an elevation and this is the problem I see. Everything looks good, your hands are all ready, you're ready to move. The feet go on the box, and this is the first thing that happens. You do the reps, you think, wow, yeah, I feel this extra difficulty. But in reality, all I'm doing is a normal push-up. Look at the line of my body, it's exactly the same. So even though the feet are elevated, the hips aren't, you get this sag, and you create a, a lot of pressure right in the lower part of the back. So the solution to this would be to do two things. The first of them would be to one, keep the hips up in the air, keep a nice straight line. So you're going to be looking slightly beneath yourself, looking back towards this, this level. You go down on the reps, but then you notice the next problem is I run out of range and I start smashing my face on the floor. So this is where the next phase of the movement comes in and we get two small dumbbells. So dumbbells are in position. Notice I've got them on a slight 45 degree angle. This allows for the correct alignment in the shoulder. You can stay, stay slightly tucked and it's a slightly stronger movement. I've got the two lined up. Uh, this is better with hex dumbbells. Uh, if you've got strong wrists, you should be okay with this one. Okay, so you're into position. Your feet are up. Uh, backside's up nice and high, your shoulder's ready. You keep that same angle. And now you've got an extra couple of inches to drive through on the movement. Same steady tempo, good strong movement. As you get tired, you're going to maybe start to sag. So you've always got to keep the glutes tensed, keep the core engaged. And there's your improved technique for the feet elevated push-ups.